Peggy 16. Hey, it's Jens Anderson, the creative director on DC Universe Online, and we're going to talk to you today about a couple of new features coming with DLC 5, The Hand of Fate. And specifically, we're going to talk about the new Legends characters coming to Legends PvP. These characters are awesome. We're introducing our first sorcerers to the game. Villains will be loving Felix Faust, and heroes will be loving Dr. Fate. Of course, you can choose to play either if you unlock them, but you know, I have my allegiances and I'm sure sh so do you. Uh, these characters are awesome. They're hand blasters, they're flyers. Uh, they bring a whole new uh, type of gameplay to Legends PvP with the way they deal with summoning minions, allies, pets, those kinds of things. Uh, they're really powerful characters, but enough about me talking about them. Let's actually show you them in action and you can see the strategy and the tactics involved here. I think you're gonna like what you see. Hi, my name is David Stricker. I'm a system designer on DC Universe Online, and I'm here today to give you a sneak peek at some of the upcoming Legends characters for our new DLC 5, Hand of Fate. So when we came up with the designs for Felix Faust and Dr. Fate for DLC 5, we really wanted to capture the, the power that these sorcerers had over uh, all of creation. We kind of wanted to give them a little bit more of the, the control ability and let them play around with some of the neat summoning uh, powers that they've had. So with that in mind, we wanted to make these characters kind of a, a magical summoner that we had going. You can see some of our new block effects coming out there. So with that being said, each of these characters has minions that they can summon uh, that are going to have different abilities. These characters are play a little bit less aggressively but more in a control-ish role than some of our other Legends characters. Uh, they have more things such as shields or, or effects that are going to be targeting multiple enemies and, and either increasing or decreasing their ability to deal damage. Uh, so you can see I've actually got my shield active right now. and I've got another pet that not only is going to deal some damage to Fate here but he's going to make me deal more damage or have more HP uh, as the fight goes on which is kind of a new thing. The idea of buffs in Legends characters is actually uh, quite a new concept. Uh, so Felix Faust is, is the more aggressive of the two characters we're introducing. He's got several abilities that are very high damage output. You can see I had my, uh, my Skull Scatter, which is going to be a, a damage area of effect from him, as well as my um, this, is, this is Necrobiosis power right here. Uh, I've also got my Soul Siphon, which you can see is a channeled ability that does a fair amount of damage against players. Uh, and can really punish them. So it's really a, a large part of playing Felix Faust is learning how to manage your pets, when to summon them, and when to uh, use them to tactical advantage to either deal additional damage to your enemies or when to explode them to really put out some pain. Now I'm playing Dr. Fate here, who compared to Felix Faust is a little bit more defensive of a character, but uh, don't let that fool you. He's actually very powerful when it comes to affecting how the entire game plays. Uh, while he still has several damage abilities that are going to let you uh, deal damage not only to one opponent but into several in an area of effect, he also has the ability to uh, put down fields that are going to either buff your friendly uh, combatants or debuff your enemies. So you can see here, not only am I dealing damage to Felix Faust, but he actually will deal less damage to me while he's within uh, my field. In addition to that, similar to Felix Faust, I have several pets that I can summon, uh, although these are also more defensive in nature. You can see that I've got one of my Sentinels of Magic here that is going to, you can see he's casting a spell that's going to affect us and uh, this, as long as I'm in his area I'm going to take less damage and deal more damage assuming I don't get blocked. I also have another pet that is more offensive in nature. You can see this Sentinel of Magic here is really going to come down and put the pain on Felix. You can see he was knocking down and stunning my opponent. So it's another thing whether you want to be offensive with your pets or whether you want to put the fields down there and uh, be defensive with your pets. Now another ability that I've used here is my Displacer Orbs. This is a, a ability that you have that will follow certain characters and, or certain opponents and knock them down over time. As you can see Felix Faust is not enjoying what the orbs are doing to him at the moment. And so if I want to, it can be very useful to help controlling points. I can sit here and sit on this point and debuff my enemies and knock them down with my orbs. And then I can even stack that with my defensive pets here. And so while he may not have the pure uh, damage output that Felix Faust has, 
what he lacks in damage he makes up for in his ability to control the battlefield. And that's something we really wanted to go for is have these wizards not only uh, you know, use their, their sorcery to, to deal damage but to really affect their opponents and really change how the battle plays out. So there you go, a quick look at the two new Legends characters coming with the Hand of Fate, our fifth DLC for DC Universe Online. We're really looking forward to you guys getting your hands on them. They're going to add all kinds of new strategies, so if you're not familiar with Hand Blasters, either playing them or playing against them, you better start brushing up on your skills because they're going to offer a whole new challenge. So we can't wait for you to get your hands on them and uh, mix it up with all of you uh, in Legends PvP. So until then, take care.